It is National Pet Day. And of course, when we asked you to share your pet pics on Facebook, well, you made it a potty. Get it? Potty? Okay, anyway, all kinds of pooches and cats, big and small. Some of them are posing for the camera. Sometimes the humans were in there too. There's even guinea pigs on this post. I mean, it's a pet, right? For as cute as they are, and I think my gray haired girl is really pretty, they're expensive. All right, so this was Kona last May. This is where they shaved her because she tore her ACL and had to have reconstructive surgery. Yeah, she had to wear the donut of shame versus the cone of shame. We're still making payments on that procedure, I gotta tell you. Which leads me to this question. Is pet insurance worth it? Consumer Reports asked pet owners in a recent survey. In our survey, over 2,000 members shared their experience with pet insurance covering everything from what's actually covered to the premiums they paid and the claims process for getting reimbursed. And overall, there was no real top dog. In fact, most of the results found that the insurance companies were all pretty middle of the pack. Consumer Reports looked at survey data on eight pet insurance providers. On average, the total cost was about $47 per month per pet. Six insurance providers earned a mid-range overall satisfaction score, but two bottomed out with unfavorable ratings. So if you don't find one that fits your pet situation, what should you do? Self-insure by putting away money every month into a direct deposit high yield savings account that you can draw from should your fur baby need some medical assistance. All right, so what, what I was surprised to hear is that there's actually telehealth services for non-emergency pet care. That's really? huge because the amount of times that I've had to go in there and just be like, okay, I don't know okay? what's wrong. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Although I think to myself, it's hard, you know, it's hard enough for us to have telehealth, right? Yeah. And then you have it with the dog or the cat who can't really tell you what's wrong and you're trying to manipulate and the cat or the dog out. or the guinea pig or whatever. Yeah, the camera, the look at him. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really weird. That is um, interesting. Another way to save money, they say, on pet health without cutting corners is to order your pet um, prescriptions on something like either Chewy or Pickle huh. or Pet Meds um, instead of getting it from your vet. We do that. You do? Yep. We have it delivered all the time. I'm not sure. I think it's Chewy, but don't quote me on that. Mm, um, but yeah. yeah, my wife does that and it comes every whatever. Like heartworm or medicine yeah. Yeah. or whatever. Flea and tick medicine. Yeah. That's what I've noticed is mm -hmm. with those. I'm taking notes in the event I ever want to get a dog, by the way. I'm well, just and if you put that yeah. on repeat, if it's a <laughs> normal subscription, subscription they get yeah. a discount. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I have never had pet insurance. Um, I Not just either. like pay for it as I go, go. kind of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I really did like what they said about like just having like it, its own little sum of money somewhere that you have tucked away hmm. because your pet will cost you. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Last year I learned that the hard way Ted was in the like emergency pet emergency room. Then he had to get teeth pulled. I mean like it was it, it adds up really quick. So I would see the insurance being a benefit. My question is for senior dogs too. It just it's not as effective. So right? it is not as effective for senior right. dogs. If you've got any kind of problem with your pet or something like that, they are going to exclude that. So mm -hmm. like every other health insurance, there's a whole lot of fine print there, yes. right? So you need to know. But if you're getting like a brand new pet kind of thing, I do think that it's probably worth it to look and see what the fine print does cover. Because I've had some people say, well, I didn't have to pay anything for my dog's ACL surgery because, yeah. you oh, know, no. I had the insurance. Yeah. And I was like, well, that would have been helpful. Yeah. <laughs> but really now though. that she's had it, like, I can't have her covered either for either leg. Oh, really? that's right. Because more susceptible to it or that's whatever. That's right. Yes. Yeah. It's like a previous condition. For sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Every day is pet day, I think, though. At, <laughs> at all of our houses, right? Think of the walks, the pets, the loves. Make sure you give them good stuff today. Oh, yeah.